Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So I wanted to do a video showing some video game pickups that I had gotten rather recently. Um, I know I normally have been talking a lot about movies and movies I picked up, so I figured I'd go into you know my roots of uh, video games as well. So I don't remember if I showed this one. So if I did, too bad, I guess. Uh, Catherine on the Xbox 360. I beat this once, really enjoyed it. I remember there was different endings and stuff. Um, a little hard to find now, so I picked this up uh, at a GameStop like 15 minutes or so away from my house. Um, I think I used a coupon too, so I got it for like 8 or 9 bucks. Not a bad deal. It usually goes for around 15 uh, I also picked this up. This was $7 shipped on eBay. It's in really nice shape. Lollipop Chainsaw. I've been playing a lot of Suda. 51's games and I wanted to check this out. The only thing is the the case got kind of cracked in the mail So I got to get a new case for it. You know, it's like falling apart here, but the disc is in really nice shape So that's good uh, And I'm, cu I'm currently playing through shadows of the damned. So I wanted to check that one out next uh, I got this yesterday at the flea market for 50 cents. It is mint. It's Donkey Kong country returns I heard it was good 50 cents, I'm down. I finally got and am up to Mr. Dream. Wait, Mr. Dream? The Sandman, whatever his name is, the bat, the last guy. Punch out on the Wii. Really fun game. Great throwback uh, with the characters and the mechanics to the original NES version that I played. I got this for $9.99 shipped. It is a boy and his blob on the Wii. Uh, again, sort of a Remake of the original NES title, which I really enjoyed as a kid, though it was a little hard for me as a child to to get very far in it. I always wanted to play this. Uh, this was, I think, four four dollars and change, five dollars at GameStop. Manhunt Two. Um, this one is edited, so the kills aren't like violent. They like show static and stuff. Um, I had it on the PSP. I played a little bit. It was fun. There's not many dark games on the Wii. So I wanted to check this out. Uh, this was also from GameStop, Obscure 2, The Aftermath. I beat the first one on the original Xbox with my buddy Brian, and I always wanted to play this one, so hopefully I could play this with him one day. It didn't have the, uh, the manual or the artwork, so I just printed out whatever I found on the Internet. So this is PAL artwork, but they didn't have the American version, so I'm going to make do with this fake artwork that I made. And then um, on eBay for thirty dollars with shipping, you know, included, uh, and I had a five dollar coupon, so it was twenty five. I got uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I heard this was very good and sort of a um, sequel to the Marvel vs. Capcom games. A little hard to find, a little expensive, and that also came with Silent Hill: Shattered Memories, which I really wanted to play. I played a little bit of it years ago on the PSP. Back when I had one and I had that huge collection, but I never got to really play it a lot. And this one has like motion controls and I think it was pretty much made for the Wii overall. So the graphics will be nicer than the PSP version. I look forward to trying out a Silent Hill game that I haven't played. So yeah, a lot of Wii games, a couple 360 games. Uh, I'm still keeping my eyes out for Escape from Bug Island and Cursed Mountain on the Wii. So I saw them recently for decent prices, so hopefully I can run into them again in the future. And uh, that's about it. So thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.